Royals, what's going on? It's your girl Q the Queen here, back with another video on this week. Happy New Year to everybody. It's officially 2020. Can y'all believe it? We're in a completely new decade. It's time to turn the page. We get a fresh start for those who are, you know, you know, tend to start new things for the new year. And for those that set goals yearly, like myself, I set goals yearly. Definitely time to get a jump start on that. So I hope everybody is successful with everything they set out this year. Start day one, minute one, you'll be just fine. All right. <laughs> now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We on the road to 5K. We almost there. Um, it's free. Go ahead and click that subscribe button with that 5K. It's bars. Just saying, I've been working. I've been working. I've been co been cooking up. If you're liking the content, please make sure you hit that like button. Definitely helps your girl. Um, and then if you have any feedback, any comments, concerns, like I do, because I'm about to talk about some things now, make sure you hit that comment section. Because me and my royals, we talks about it. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Q, did you move again? No, I did not move again. If you've been following me long enough, I mentioned that we're going to see a lot of different looks before I decide uh, what's going on with this particular set. Um, I have a space now for it, finally. Thank the Lord. Thank God. Uh, thank my hard work. Thank my um, effective planning and being responsible as an adult. <laughs> um, but... Even this right here, this is not what you're going to see for long. This is just a new angle um, that I wanted to just go ahead and throw in. That white wall was just, it was it was doing something to my spirit. I really felt like, um, you know, I, it was good for me to continue to pump out content while, that, while I was just sitting against a white wall. But at the same time, I want to make sure that, you know, when you click on a channel, you know what it is now. You know what it is. We out here. Sneaker channel. This is shoe too, baby. <laughs> you also know if you've been following me long enough, the Michigan Bear is back. There are a couple of folks that were asking me about the Michigan Bear. There he is. There he is. I don't know if he's... I really don't know if he's even... I might have to fix him so that he's facing y'all more. So that, you know, we can do how we used to do to interact. I'm not as close to him as I look. I'm kind of a far away, so I can't really do my little thing where we be talking, but I might still be able to work with him. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, <laughs> listen, Jordan Brand think they slick. They think they slick, boy. So I got to scrolling around, took a little bit of time to kind of see what, um, you know, some of the latest sneaker news or whatever. And uh, I saw a picture and an article that disappointed me. Now, we know that there's rumors about the Chicago one not dropping when we expected it to, which would be All-Star Weekend. Um, a lot of us, including myself specifically, was very excited about being able to cop a, um, a retro pair of an OG, such as the Chicago one. Now, that being canceled, after seeing what I saw, <laughs> let me just go ahead and throw it up. So we got what's supposed to be called Bloodline 2.0. And immediately when I saw the picture, I was like, oh, that's what they trying to do. They playing games. They trying to trick us again. They trying to take our money. They trying to continue to just, just soak us dry. Just soak us dry. Just wrench us out. Wrench us out of our little pennies. That's what they trying to do. That's immediately what I thought. I'm like, they know people were geeked for this for this Chicago one. Now they're gonna throw this at us. Now for me, because I love the Chicago one, I'm looking at this Bloodline 2.0, and I'm like, it look kind of nice. My problem is this: if I get look at this, okay, if I get this shoe, right? Because I I do want this. I want a shoe that looks like this, which is the Chicago. I would get this shoe because I don't have the Chicago. And then having this shoe, and then let's say the Chicago one does drop, let's say later this year or eventually next year. Do I still want the Chicago? Or should I get the Chicago and get rid of this? Like, it's, it's just too much mind bending. It's too much mind bending and I'm not for all of that. I'm not for all of that. 
Um, but anyway, so I saw the article and of course it's Chicago Bulls theme. The upper is red, has the white toe, um, black swoosh, black shoestrings. Now of course the, um, the tag on the tongue, you know, it's the opposite of what we're used to with the Chicago one. So there are some flips there. The outsole you see is black. Uh, so it's there's some flips there that we don't get on the Chicago one so I, I get how somebody could find this as a unique release um, and then also we will be able to then make our own Chicago now <laughs> this is interesting because a lot of folks use the original bloodline and customize it into a Chicago so now Jordan Brand does this so that's a whole other conversation. So Jordan Brand is watching and they doing their own shit like, oh, y'all wanna make Chicago ones on your own? All right, so we gonna give you something just like what you made, make you feel salty and we gonna get all these millions. I can't, this is why, this is why I say I am not buying a bunch of Jordans each year because they do stuff like this. They'll get you all hyped up for OG you think is coming. You like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get ready, I'm gonna get prepared, get that OG. Next thing you know, that shit's canceled, and they gonna re they gonna release something that's similar to it. Just like for um, if y'all remember, in 2019, it was rumored that the um the high, like a original high version of the bread one was supposed to drop, um, late 2019. And then as we get a little bit closer, get out of the summer a little bit, late summer, early fall, all of a sudden it's the bloodline. So it, they do these kinds of things often. Uh, I don't know what kind of tricks they trying to play. I don't know what kind of marketing scheme that's called. But, uh, uh yeah. <laughs> Jordan Brand is on that stuff. They smoking that good stuff. Boy, they sniffing it up now. They sniffing it up. So this is supposed to be available July 11th. Um, and according to your boy Z Sneakerheads, who has all the early exclusive thoughts, because I'm looking at the news now, it's saying it's an increased price of $170. So not only are we getting are we are we <laughs> not only are we not getting our OG Chicago one, they throw something at us that looks damn near as similar as the Chicago one. And from the quality of it, you know, this probably ain't the official picture, but it's it looks like it's plush. It looks like it's plush. But anyway, so they throw the colorway at us that's similar to it, but it's not the actual Chicago. And it's months after what the Chicago should have been released. And they're also increasing the price. This price increase can only go through of course if we buy into this stuff if we continue to buy this stuff they're gonna keep increasing these prices so we say okay shoot we can't get to Chicago so we got to get this and this is probably you know what I mentioned about that mark look I'm answering my own questions right now that marketing scheme I mentioned they know that we disappointed about not getting the Chicago ones. They released something that's similar to the Chicago one, almost to the T, with the exception of a few, you know, details, of course, that are important details, but still. And now they got us thinking like, oh, well, that kind of looked like it. And I don't have a pair. So in order for me to wear a pair that looks similar to it, I might have to go ahead and get that one. And not only do I have to might go ahead and get that one, I got to pay $10 more. And I might be more willing to pay that $10 more because I don't have the original shoe and I want a shoe that looks like it. <laughs> that's, that's genius. That's genius. That is genius. Nike Jordan brand. Y'all pulling a stunt like no other. Um, cutting off overseas retails. You're cutting off uh, a lot of these Jordan exclusive or Jordan-esque stores that uh, have been, you know, able to sell retail Jordans. They're trying to, listen, not only are they trying to cut off the pipeline of um, retailers that are able to sell the brand, but they're trying to force us into some other, some whole other shit. <laughs> and they're trying to make us pay more for it to justify that it was a good idea. Oh man. This is going this is going in a whole different direction. I didn't even know all of these revelations was gonna come to my mind when I made when I was gonna go in front of you and make this video. Oh my god. Phew. Just based off of what I'm seeing, I mean the, the picture is supposedly a mock-up, but ultimately if the shoe comes out like this mock-up, it is 
nice. And it's nice for the reason that I mentioned because it looks like the Chicago one, okay? And it does have a couple of different components to it that gives it its own individuality. So it's like, it's dope. I can't even say it's ugly. I can't say it's trash. It's dope. <laughs> and that's why I'm mad. I'm mad that the Chicago one wannabe is dope. It's fire. I say, I say it's fire. It's just one of them things. I got, I got mixed feelings about it. Just put it that way. Mixed feelings because I'm frustrated and also because I really like it for obvious reasons. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this. I think it's all a game that they're trying to play with us to try to test the market and see what we are willing to deal with. Now, if you like myself and you like, oh shit, this is dope. You know, we might have to go ahead and slide that in, and you know, in for 2020 <laughs> until I can get my Chicago ones. <laughs> if you like, if you thinking like I'm thinking, you know, I mean, come on, if they, this is gonna, this is more than likely going to be a successful shoe where the original Bloodline probably flopped, so to speak. The, blur, the original Bloodline was considered a flop by the standards of what a popular Jordan 1 release would be. So I can see this actually being way more successful if the quality of it looks good. If it doesn't look like a takedown, like straight up trash quality um, type of shoe and it's hard to make that look trash on a Jordan 1 anyway. I see it being way more successful than the original Bloodline, honestly. And I cannot wait to see the official picture. I'm just going to put it out there. Uh, I know that my demeanor is kind of bipolar in this video, but I'm coming to the realization that this is probably just going to be the option for, the like, for those like myself who do not have the Chicago one, who are not paying resale for because that resale is ridiculous. Um, and look, I, I just have to wait for the Chicago one. I told y'all in my last video, my hit list video, that I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with the with the canceled Chicago one. I wasn't sure how I was gonna be able to obtain the shoe. Obviously, this is not the shoe, but this is this is the alternative for now. Y'all make sure to hit the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about it. Are you upset? Are you happy? Are you kind of like me? You got mixed feelings? Um, let's 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 kind of talk about it. Let's start a dialogue uh, again. I just wanted to come in and talk about this. I saw this and I'm like, oh yeah, this is a topic right here. This is for sure a topic. Okay, <laughs> we gonna talk about this. But anyways, thank you guys for watching your girl Q the Queen. More content to come, baby. Until next time, royalty. <laughs>